Welcome back to another video, buddy. I am Coleman, and thank you so much for joining us on our Survival Island Let's Play series. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out and hanging out. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you're, uh, you're, you're doing one thing that pushes you closer to your goal in life. And that's what I want to ask you all today about, ladies and gentlemen, is what is your goal? What, 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 what's the goal? What's the goal looking like? Are we... Are we trying to be YouTubers? Are we trying to be, you know, school teachers? Are we trying to be, you know, construction workers? Like, what's the vibe? You know what I'm saying? What's the what's the vibe we're trying to get to? That's that's what I want to know today, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I want to talk about today. Is doing one thing uh, to push you towards your goal. Whether that's recording a YouTube video, whether that's, you know, maybe you're trying to lose weight. So you're just uh, going for walks, right? The goal with this is to always strive to take one step and, and a lot, it's so many people try to take this for granted but honestly if you just take one uh, do I do here's what we'll do we'll do this every other one if you just take one step towards your goal like if you just go let's say for example right you're trying to lose weight yeah uh, and your goal is to go for a run every single day or you know, um, just get outside every day, right? Set your goals small, and then when you achieve them, you feel good, and then you start making your goals bigger, right? So the first thing is, like, say you just absolutely hate. You can't stand running. Like, running is your absolute bane of existence. Make the first goal just to put on your tennis shoes. Just put on your tennis shoes and, and step outside. And maybe you're like, ah, dude, that sucks so bad. I'm not doing it. Okay, but guess what? You put on your tennis shoes and went outside. And then next time you put on your tennis shoes, you walk outside, and then maybe you just, you know, walk to your mailbox and back. Cool. And it's like, it sounds so silly, but your, your goal is to trick your brain into thinking you're being the most productive individual. And it's almost, it's like you can rewire your brain to, to want to do something. Like once you do it, like for like two weeks in a row where you put your shoes on and walk, your brain's going to itch for that. You're going to get home and be like, wait, wait, I can't play minecraft i gotta i gotta put my shoes on i gotta i gotta wait i gotta walk to the mailbox and then you'll start eventually walking further and walking and then you just walk a mile and then after that after that you start running and you start jogging and you start running then it's just like by habit by nature it's a habit i have made these minecraft videos such a habit that i get home and i'm like all right kids are asleep and I just naturally, the first thing I do when I turn my computer on is just open Minecraft. Like, it's such a weird habit. Um, but I made it a habit. And 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 look at us now. Hey, look at us now. Hey, we're making paper. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was a joke, guys. It was a joke. Okay. Okay, we actually are making paper. Hey, hype me up, hype me up. Um, but then I'll see <laughs> In all seriousness, though, it, it's so true. You, you can rewire your brain. Any habit you're doing right now, it takes longer to unlearn a habit than it does to, to, to learn that habit, right? So if you have a bad habit, it takes you so much longer to unlearn that. If you have a good habit, right? Let's say you're out running every day. It takes you so much longer to break it once you have it than it does for you to actually get it. And so question of the day ladies and gentlemen is what are you doing to to form that good habit to push yourself towards the goal to just do honestly do what you love and and push yourself that's like that's what i want to know that's what i want to hear today and, and i hope you're doing something let's read let's go ahead and read some comments while we uh finish this and, and in case you haven't found out we were working on our nether tunnel i i ran through this during the world tour and i was like oh we haven't finished this at all um maybe we should <laughs> and the reason we're doing a tunnel this short is i'm not a fan of like the small tunnels right but if we don't we're gonna have a bunch of magma cubes in this tunnel so that's why we decided to opt for this kind of smaller more compact tunnel but hopefully oh we're not gonna have enough oh we're definitely not gonna have enough. um let's just go down the middle um but hopefully uh, the no magma cubes will spawn and we can get this tunnel looking right today. Uh, we're going to have to go get some uh, diorite, I can see for sure. Um, but, and then we need diorite and shroom lights. Diorite and shroom lights. Actually, I kind of want to use. Will these. 
Oh, is that uh, it's the bottom half of the slab, right? Dang it, dude. I was really excited to do that. Okay. Um, let's go get some more diorite while we read comments, okay? Uh, Ewick said, or Evic said, yay, I'm first. Welcome in, Evic. Welcome in. I appreciate you. Uh, and she said, agreed. Comments go a long way while I teach. I always try to find something nice to say about the kiddos' work. I also give out stickers. Um, yeah. I also give out stickers for the small thing. I'm pretty sure I say good job to those kids, even if it's just one word. No, but all seriously, compliments and kind words don't cost a thing. They make someone else's day better. Yeah, and that's so true. Like, I coach, uh, like, six to eight-year-old soccer, right? And the whole goal with kids is just to build that confidence uh, for them to want to play that sport, right? That's the whole goal with kids. You have to, they have to want to play the sport. When they're young... It doesn't matter how good they are. It doesn't matter how bad they are. Is this an efficiency four pick? No way. Is this efficiency five? It is. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. Um, let's do it right here. But yeah, it's all about getting those kids' confidence up, and and, and and so it's the same thing with adults, right? Like I just told you, you can rewire your brain. Some adults may not be confident, but when you start commenting, "Hey, your nails look good. Hey, your hair looks good," and it's like a kind of a a it becomes a natural thing for people to get comments and, and to give com compliments then it just it just it's a it's a pile effect and then now those adults begin more confident and then guess what they start seeing oh wow uh evan gave me a compliment so now i need to give other people a comment and then it's just a cycle in a whirlwind of just happiness and compliments and then everybody becomes confident and that's the dang we already ran out of space um Let's just go ahead and do this. I know we're gonna need it. There we go. Okay. Um, and then it's just a cycle of confidence and, and all that too. So that's the goal. So Evic, I appreciate you. In case y'all didn't know, Evic is a teacher. Evic and uh, Social Bunny are teachers, and so they're doing they're doing God's work. You know, they're they're imp they're doing exactly what we want to do. They're 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 rubbing off on the youth. They're being impersonable to the uh, impressionable to the youth. And, and they're making a change in the world. So a huge shout out to the Evics and the social bunnies of the world. That is that is a um, a huge job y'all are doing. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all from from you know my channel to you all, from my audience to you all. Like huge, huge shout out to you guys for for doing for doing the right thing. And, that, and that's what I, I just I don't know. I love that. I appreciate you for doing that. Um, oh, that's good. What's up, guys? Um, y'all can stay down here. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to the Evix and the social bunnies of the world. Oh, on this. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Connie with the wagon, inflatable, inflatable. Um, hands, you see, said positive comment today. Everyone is awesome here. Huge. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I think, I mean, we, we all pretty all right, right? We do. I, I it's, it's. It's not a brag, but I want everybody to know that we hands down have the best community on YouTube and there's not a freaking chance otherwise. Otherwise, otherwise, the other side of me. Sorry, that's a little Hannah Montana reference if anybody got that. If not, I'm a I'm a Hannah Hannah Montana fan and I'm a believer. And if you're not, you can eat my shorts because icons. You know what I'm saying? Icons. Ooh, there's a huge patch of diary. Okay. Um Let's kind of get rid of this. This. All right. I think after we do this, we should have enough diorite. I didn't expect to get this much this quick. Hello. Ugh. There we go. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, huge announcement. We have a new series coming um, that I haven't told anybody about. Anybody. How do I get out of here? Um, <clears throat> that I haven't told quite literally anybody about. So, um... That's being edited right now. Let's just put it that way. And I think, I think it's going to be a very, very, very um, exciting, exciting series. So, I would love for y'all <clears throat> to try to guess uh, the new series that's coming. That would be a. That's actually kind of a fun question. Okay, we have that. Um, but yeah, huge shout out, uh, Connie. Thank you for the positive comment. She said, "Use trap doors." On top of dispensers, you can more easily refill them with empty bottles. Oh, on the bee farm. That's probably the smart thing to do. If I was if I was smart, I would have done that. Here's what I want to do. 
Yeah, remind me to do that and I will do that. Um, let's do this. Put that back in here. Let's take this out. Okay. Um, I really want to work on this, but we'll come back to this at the end uh, to try to fix. Let's for right now. For right now, let's just get all this diorite down here. Let's see if we can fill this in. Yeah, we have a lot to fill in. But it's okay. I think once it's done, it'll look bright, airy, and... Um, the reason, so, a build tip, off topic, completely off topic, the build tip I like to do is, I like to use lighter colors on the ceiling because it makes the build feel bigger. If you ever see houses that have like a small roof, or a short roof, right? There's always, um, there's always a lighter ceiling um, to it. So, just a helpful tip. Um, when you are uh, building always use light blocks on the roof but if you want to focus the eyes more then you use a darker darker roof anything you don't want the eyes drawn to you want to use a dark and a neutral color and so like the whites the grays uh, you know those kind of colors if you want it to if you want attention to be drawn to it use dark colors around it and then do a pop of color like the the greens or the pinks or the blues you know those kind of colors just one of those helpful building tips oh that was quick um just one of those helpful building tips that i wish i knew oh lord where am i at um just one of the helpful building tips that i wish i knew um before i started building there we go and then i'm gonna take this die right and actually put it yeah, I'll put it right in here. There we go. And then I don't need all of this. Don't need that, 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 that. Put that there. And I want to uh, just throw this in here for now. Ooh. Um, what I want to do is I want to get some more frog lights. Hey, do I actually, do I have a, I do. Do I have any diamonds? I do. So the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, I didn't even know you could name my shirt box. The reason I'm doing this is because the hoe is actually the best tool used to gather like the frog lights. And, oh, that's a wall. Uh, the frog lights. Oh, if I would have died and dropped everything in lava, I would have for, 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 freaked out. Um, yeah, it's the best tool to get frog lights. In case y'all didn't know. See how quickly it breaks with the efficiency five. Uh, Ho, there you go. Ho, can't make a wife out of a ho. Ho. Um, yeah, it's actually the fastest tool to get this. Wait, these up there, and then also frog lights. So that's what we're gonna do for a little bit. We're gonna try to get a little bit of frog lights, and then, yeah, and then we'll go back and hopefully replace some of them. I want to at least do like every other one, uh, with frog lights. That way, it'll light the place up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Connie, remind me again on the next video, and I will put trap doors in the bee farm. Yeah, good, good comment. Thank you. Um, what did what did Social Bunny say? Uh, there's no brutes that can ruin this world. Yeah, hey, listen, that's still that's still it's like 300 days later, it still hurts. All right, that was a oh, such a good world, such a freaking good world. Wow, I'm so upset. Yeah, in case y'all don't know, the, for the new people. We had a hardcore series that was probably, I think, like 300 something days long. 200, I think it was like 300 plus days long. And we were doing good. We were killing it. And then for some reason, we I think we had the exact gear we have on now. Oh, what's up, dude? And then the pig, uh, first time ever going to a bastion, right? First time ever. And I got waxed by a brute. I've never seen a brute before. Ooh. Like, honestly, before playing that series, I've never seen a brute before. So I just got... Ooh, like that guy, like that guy. Holy smokes, dude. Um, I got like, I think, what, two or three tapped? Because I couldn't fly or something. I don't know what happened, but yeah, the, that's how this series, the uh, hardcore series ended. So thanks for bringing up that past trauma, social money. I get it. How do you? Okay, that's that. There we go. But yeah, yeah. There ain't no brutes in this right now. Uh, three, uh, three, seven, seven. Uh, Social money said at three minutes thirty seven seconds, same. She would whoop me if I tried to use her credit card, dude. My mom would kick my keister, would absolutely kick my keister um, if I even looked at her credit card. 
<laughs> even if I even asked, even if I even was like, "Mom, can I?" She'd, she'd be like, "What is wrong with you? Go sit down somewhere." <laughs> um, but if you do want to use your mom's credit card, ladies and gentlemen, buy uh, like all the merch. Uh, link in the description, and also you should see some pictures uh, down below. If you want to get whooped by your mom and potentially uh, thrown into a military facility and or uh, put up for adoption, take your mom's credit card and buy all the merch. And Remy heard us talking. And so Remy is here to say hello to everyone. Join me, Remy. You think I didn't hear you come in here? Daddy, Daddy, why is it red? Uh, we're, we're looking at some red trees. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, Freck said this is my little positive comment today. Your Monopoly name doesn't look like the Pringle Man today. Thank you. It's, he, he, he's named Freck from the movie. Do you know the Monopoly name? Have you, do you know the Monopoly Man? He's a little donkey. What the world? A donkey with the, wet. the Monopoly Man's a donkey? A <laughs> donkey. A donkey? A donkey with Freck. <laughs> <laughs> Freck's a donkey? <laughs> Say, Freck, you're a donkey. Freck, you're a donkey. <laughs> Freck, you're a Ah, no, I'm Dad, trying. Dad, I no. Dad, I go to the no, because you just told me not to. You know why? Because you know it hurts my booty. <laughs> you know it does. You just told me to not to go in there. Daddy, go in there. Nope, no, no chance. No, uh, Listen, no. look, look, Dart said, Oh, my Remykins has a tummy ache. Find out why and get better, precious baby girl. <laughs> Dad, go inside. Do you feel better tonight? I feel I feel better this day. <laughs> oh, you do feel better? Can you tell Darth thank you for the for the nice nice words and comments? Oh god, he just Piggy Get out of here, piggy. Get out of here, big chunk of piggy. Get out of here, big chunky daddy, little piggy. Daddy. What? Daddy, daddy, what's that piggy called? He's called uh, a warthog. Daddy. What? Can you go inside? Uh, absolutely not. Can you say thanks, Darth? Thanks, Darth. Uh... That is a piggy! Oh, jeez, this scared me. Uh, Freck said, let's go. Thank you for the comment. No, thank you, Freck. Oh, I that guy, die. Hit the pig one. Hit the pig one. No way. He will, if you trade it for diamonds, it won't hit you. If you trade it for diamonds... This guy? Yeah. He, look, he has a sword. No, no, he won't hit you. You're lying. He you won't, watch Minecraft more he, than I watch he, Minecraft. He oh. won't hit you. He won't hit you. Remy. You watch Minecraft more than I do. You know for daggum sure that he's going to eat my booty if I hit him. You hit him. No, that's no, why you're no, laughing. If you, if you hit him, if you hit him, if you hit him, you hit back. If you hit him, you hit back. No, because then he's going to he's gonna hire all of his buddies to hit me. No, no he's not. He doesn't even know how to. What are you talking about? He doesn't even know how to. Just go and how hit do, him. How do you know? Don't watch Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you watch a lot of Minecraft. Go, you know. go, 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 Hit him, hit That's him. That's not your Discord. Hit the, hit the baby. Hit the baby. Yeah, <laughs> hit the, okay, if you see, if you see Piggy, if you see the pig one, if you see the pig one, then. Hit him, I must yeah, say. Yeah, hit him, hit him, if you see him. Oh, hit him. Oh, Lord, I mean, you're going to try to get me knocked out. Look at this, Remy. Oh, how does this go, look? Go, go, go. How does this look? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, go. Nope, nope. I'm gonna punch this guy. No, no, no! Punch the pig one! Punch the pig one! Uh, absolutely not! The no. fact that you know, no, oh, no, I'm no. gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna die! Dave, look Dave. at my heart, Jimmy. Uh, uh, can you say Darth? All siblings don't uh, didn't know where the Dave, ocean from probably was. Dave, break it! Break it! Break it! Hang on, hang on. Break it! You're gonna die! Hey, I'm trying to eat, but you keep yelling at me. Uh, look, Evic said, I don't like your attitude, young man. We're not old. No, but seriously, you're so right. The mental health of the younger people is sometimes so bad it baffles me. Daddy, daddy, hey, hey, when, daddy, daddy, hey, when daddy's talking, you're not. I have so many students that hate themselves or will crumble because one small negative criticism. I feel like they are so vulnerable. They don't know how to deal with so many things. For example, daddy. you can't even tell them one thing that, Excuse for example, me? some of them can't tell me one, me? one thing they're good at. Excuse Their self-esteem is so low. Excuse me, uh I hit the pig one. He he will hire his buddy. He's wrong. You're lying. He won't. I promise you. You're lying. I promise you. You're he, lying. I, Evic said. Evic said. Remy is so adorable. What do you got to say to her? Thank you. <laughs> uh, um and uh, uh, yeah, you're uh, so uh, right. It's so on, strange. Hold on, hold the on, new generation. What? Huh? I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Havoc, she loves you. You got Remy to tell you I love you. You're awesome, Remy. Thanks for asking. That's that's so polite. I love a polite Remy. You know that? Did you know that? Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's strange. Uh, the new generation that's growing up. I, I don't know if it's that they get too many compliments and they're not getting criticism because... Please hit the pig one. Please you know what? By the end of this video, I'm going to hit a pig. I'm going to punch a pig in the right in the nostrils. Is that cool? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if they don't get corrected enough as a kid or they get too many comments or not enough comments. I don't know how to fix that. I just know my kids will know when they goof up, they're going to be held accountable. That's what I know. Ooh, that's probably bothering one person too many. Um, I know that for a fact. When my kids goof up, they will know they goofed up because it ain't always sunshines and rainbows. And you're going to be held accountable. In your job, you goof up, you either get fired or or uh, you get like paperwork. Hit a piglet. Hit a piglet. I will not hit a penguin. Please, 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 please. Uh, hang on. Uh, David said hi, Remy. Hey, David. <laughs> hey, David. Uh, David did the old person emoji. Uh, Dart said your your demographic counter uh, is way off. I choose off. David. Where's David? David's right here. He's the man with the beard. Oh my gosh. Isn't that a cool beard? Yes. Yeah, look, I, I, look, he, look, he's got the same comment, but not the old lady. Uh, I know, isn't that cool? Uh, Dart said your demographic counter is way off. Yeah, you're probably right. Wait, and he then, put a heart? He put a heart in the frog? What'd you put the frog for? He, he, likes, to, he likes to be a prince frog. What? Why do you want he's, to... He's a toad. Why do you want to be a frog, you toad? <laughs> <laughs> so you're a toad, David. You're a toad, You're a bloody toad, David. <laughs> you're a toad because you like frogs, you David. <laughs> what the world? <laughs> Say, say, you're a toad, David. No, you're a toad, David. Say, you're a bloody toad, David. <laughs> you're a bloody toad, David. <laughs> uh, Dart said, uh, Remy, how are you feeling today? French toast is no, yummy. Wait, wait, wait. Does he, does he also have a frog? Uh, no. Just David. Well, what does he have? Uh, look, look. Evic has uh, a wolf. You see that? Um, and if you want a wolf David? or a frog or a toad what? or whatever you want besides your name, all you gotta do is hit that join button down below. Become number today. Dad, Dad, what's this what? comment? What's this comment? Right here. Are you a toad? You have a toad. <laughs> <laughs> I right, Dart said, Remy, how are you doing today? Good. And she said, French toast is yummy. I love it. Is that cool? Yeah. Let me buy French toast. And then Connie said, Wacky way to one inflatable hands. Hey, hey, Remy, how you doing? I right, guess what, everybody. Samson, Samson is made Samson because Daddy likes it, but but they have a store like it names like Samson. Oh yeah, so Remy said we went to Sam's Club and Remy said, "Hey, uh, did you name Sam? Her dogs. We have a we have a great day named Samson." He goes, "She said, did you name Samson after Sam's Club? <laughs> like, I know I'm fat, but I'm not the hat chunky monkey, you know." <laughs> You're a uh, monkey. And then Connie said, "Hi, Remy." Alright, all right, do the outro, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, to the mic, right here. Wait, 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 stay beautiful, stay smiling. Stay beautiful, stay smiling. Peace. Stay beautiful. Stay smiling. Peace. Peace. Like you hit the people before you. Absolutely not. Please, please.